Hey guys, Tom here on Your True Change, where we combat both obesity and poverty on the front lines. Uh, back to the, to the uh, top five spot, uh, where we review both personal development and business books uh, that can help you um, transform your life, uh, of course, into a life of prosperity um, that you can create uh, on your own, uh, from wherever you want, uh, your own house, uh, your couch, uh, your dumpster, wherever the hell you are, hopefully your own private islands. Uh, today we are going to uh, start uh, by, or I'm sorry, today we're, we're going to um, talk about uh, Put Your Dream to the Test uh, by John C. Maxwell. The uh, great, great, great book. Tells you really, um, you know, what, what is a dream and what, why an actual dream um, is different than what most people think it is. Um, and for me, this is really good because when I created my goals on what I wanted in my life, and I decided to take the bull by the horns and go and get it, and I got it, um, this was one of the books that was instrumental to me. So we're going to talk about the five things that John Maxwell goes over, um, mostly. You know, he goes over ten questions. Uh, as you can see, the book is called Put Your Dreams to the Test, Ten Questions um, that, that, um, Ten Questions uh, to Help You See and Seize It, Okay. But I'm going to go over basically five things uh, that I gather from the book that I think can really help you out uh, more importantly. Uh, and of course, like all books I review on the show, I do recommend uh, that uh, you get it. Okay. Uh, one, what is, uh, what is the uh, difference between a dream and fantasy? Uh, fantasy is kind of like when you say, okay, yeah, I wish I had a million dollars. Yeah, I wish I had a Lamborghini. Yeah, I wish I owned a sports team. But you don't... It, it, it's not really something that you have in your head that you can actually feasibly achieve, right? You just kind of hope you can do it. Um, you never really put much much thought, like in the thought about it. You certainly don't envision yourself really doing it, and you certainly don't put much strategy about um, behind it. A dream is something that is a, is is basically a reality different than the one you have now that you actually want to attain. Okay, so if you say I want to make a million dollars, okay. Uh, that's something that is very, very feasible that you can do. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can do it. I mean, I'm telling you right now. The, the thing is, is that you, it's got to be something that you sit down and you say, okay, I'm going to make a million dollars. I'm going to dream. I'm going to dream what it's going to be like uh, for me having that million dollars, for me having that million dollar lifestyle, and I'm going to sit down and plan exactly how I'm going to get there. And I'm, I'm going to get there in, do you want it to be in 90 days? Do you want it to be in a year? Do you want it to be in 10 years? I'm going to go and create that roadmap. Okay, that's what a dream is, as opposed to just arbitrarily saying, I wish I was a millionaire. This might seem like a very basic uh, thing to go over, dream versus fantasy, but it's so, so, so important because it goes to show the people who are dreamers are generally the people uh, who are the most successful people in the world, the most successful people in society, as opposed to the people who just simply fantasize, which are really just, you know, most of us that just kind of throw things out there and never really think about it or put it toward a thought. Uh, number two, uh, are you motivated to follow your dream? Okay, um, your dream should be something that genuinely motivates you. Every day you wake up, uh, you think about, okay, this is why I'm waking up. This is why I'm going to work. This is why I'm sitting in a two-hour commute. This is why I'm going to go pick up my kids in the middle of my job. Or is th th this is why I'm eating my lunch at my desk. This is why you know I'm going to quit my job and risk not making as much money for the next six months until. Um, you know, my savings runs out because you're so motivated by something bigger, greater, um, a greater cause, okay? For many people, it's, you know, religion. For other people, it's art. For other people, it's a nonprofit. It could be whatever, but there's got to be a bigger, greater cause that you're working toward that's going to put you in passion toward that dream, okay? So if you want to go and become a Formula One race car driver, um, you know, starting tomorrow and you say, you know, in two years, I'm going to go on that racetrack, okay? and go and do that, if that's something that motivates you, then you go ahead and you do it, okay? But if it's just, you know, you sitting on the TV and saying, yeah, you know what, I'm watching LeBron James, it'd be nice to be an NBA player, that'd be cool, that clearly is not something that's motivating you, right? That's just something that's a kind of would be nice, right? So that's really where, you know, a dream comes into effect, where you can really put uh, your skills and your wants and your desire to the test. Uh, number three, now, does your dream have a path? Does it have a strategy? Are there other people involved? This is where you sit down and you write, okay, here's my dream, and here's how I am going to get 
to accomplishing that dream, right? So when I sat down and I said, I'm, within one year, I'm going to get out of debt. Within one year, I'm going to make it to six figures. Within one year, I'm going to get away from my job. I sat down and I strategized exactly how I was going to get there. I, I formed my bigger goal, and then I said, okay, I'm going to form this into 12 smaller goals, so basically 12 months, right? My bigger goal is one year. My 12 smaller goals were in one month. What am I going to accomplish each month? And then at the end of each month, I reviewed, okay, what did I accomplish? What didn't I accomplish? Do I have to add more for next month? Can I, you know, add a little bit less? Okay, do I want to kind of ramp things up, right? I put the strategy down. What do I have to do? How many hours a day do I have to work? What types of things do I have to focus on? Okay, what types of, um, you know, objectives do I have? Not just financially, uh, month by month, but also as far as, you know, how many, how, how, how many blog posts, how many videos do, do I have to record, how many conferences do I have to go to, and how many people do I have to network with, how many sales calls do I have to make in order to get one sale, in order to get, you know, one distributor, right? So you've got to sit down and you've got to strategize that. And, of course, are there other people involved? If there are, um, you have to think about how do I bring those people into the fold? How do I speak to those people? How do I train those people? How do I get them to see and share my vision? Right, so they, all just so 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 important. Um, of course, say if you're in your dream and you're making your dream happen, you're becoming debt free. You're making into six figures. Okay, uh, you're making into seven figures. You're owning your own home. You're owning your own business. You're owning your own time. The most important dream of all. Um, then you basically say, okay, am I moving in the right direction? You have a 12 month goal. Let's say for example, okay, after one month. You review it. Am I moving in the right direction? Am I making more money than I was one month ago? Am I doing more work? Am I one twelfth through or whatever um, you know amount toward that plan you had planned to accomplish? Did you accomplish that? You got to go and review that and see, am I moving in it? And of course, finally, does your dream benefit others? And this is so important because if your dream only benefits yourself, that might be okay, but chances are you're not going to get as much help. You're not going to get as many people to share your vision. Uh, and it might be more difficult for you to accomplish that. Whereas if your dream of you making more money is going to benefit others, okay, your family, uh, your friends, the people around you, say what you're doing is you're either selling a product or you're raising money for other people to benefit, for their lives to benefit, okay, chances are your success is going to, is, is going to grow uh, multiple times more so than had it been simply just a goal that you're forming for yourself. Because when you get other people involved, it's basically like having them on your team and they're helping you and they're pulling strings for you the same way you're pulling strings to get your goals done and for you to accomplish what the hell you want to do. Okay? So this is Put Your Dreams to the Test by John C. Maxwell. Incredible book. Okay? You need to decide what is the difference between what you casually fantasize and what is a dream. And your dream is something that you should go out and you should follow and you should do and you should turn into a reality, okay? So stop fantasizing. Start dreaming. Your true change, the five spot. We're combating obesity and poverty every single day. This, of course, was brought to you by the Body by Vi Challenge. Uh, lose 37 pounds in 90 days. See my link at the bottom here. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm Tom McKeown, checking out.